Howdy folks, I'm Mum Cass, welcome to my channel, it's lovely to see you here today, thank you for joining me, don't forget to like and subscribe, so you can be notified of my uh, uploads in the future. Um, here I am using the Nouveau Expanding Mousse from Tonic Studios, this stuff is fabulous, uh, is like the embellishment mousse and if you leave it to dry naturally it's just like the embellishment mousse no difference um, but if you heat it with a heat tool it expands as it dries and um, puffs up it's quite an interesting like distressed effect that it gives but I thought I would while I was using all of the different products that I've got that do the same sort of things show everything that I've got and see all the differences between these products now this is spreading lovely I must say it's really nice stuff Oops. So just scrape off all the excess because you can keep all that and there's no point in you wasting it all is there wipe off your tools because it will dry on hard and again put your stencils while you're working have a bowl of soapy water by your side to put the stencils in so as the product doesn't dry on the stencils then it's much easier to wash off at a later point now I've turned on my heat tool in preparation to get it warm and that way it, it, it heats up quicker and is less likely to cause any damage to the paper. <coughs> I'm using my heat um, resistant mat and going in at the corner here I'm trying to show you I heat it up slightly from the back first which tries, is an attempt to prevent um, warping on the card but as you can see it's just expanding up slightly fluffs up see how it's changing we'll try and get you a good close-up afterwards but yeah it, it expands and sort of crackles up and yeah it just gives a different dimension to it, I suppose. Very nice for distressed looks. It really works well for distressed looks. So I do like how this has um, come up. It's lovely. Heat from the back afterwards as well, just to sort of make sure that it straightens out a little bit. You can see the dimension that it creates. So we'll go in with the next one. I like the star. Going with the darker green. This one's spreading really quite nicely. I'm just working it into all of the areas of the stencil because I don't want to pull up all of the um, smaller areas. This one seems to have a more like light, fluffy texture to it in comparison to the to the uh, embellishment mousse and it's definitely more sort of fluffy and spreads quite well just take off any excess and then scoop it back into the pot lovely okay the little lid back on keep it from drying out this was quite a good experiment like with the other ones because I didn't know what they would be like once I'd added some moisture to them it worked out quite alright so 
time for the reveal. I love the reveals. I quickly stick on my um, heat tool as well because I want it to be ready warmed up. There you go. I'll stick that in my bowl of soapy water, the stencil. Just wiping off any extra little flakes that have appeared. And heating from behind a bit first. Watch this. I wish I could zoom into it so you can really see the effect of it. I could if it was on my phone, if I was filming on my phone, but um, I'm filming on a web camera. I could do with a better quality one. A proper DVR type camera for filming. But this does show it. You can see how it's changing, but it's just not as dramatic as it is to the naked eye. So I quite like them without even heating them, like it's slightly different texture to the embellishment mousse. I definitely can't get that sort of texture and colour from my micas and the uh, PBO modelling paste. But I think there's ways of manipulating that and if I got the clear one which is more expensive then I might be able to colour that up better this one's a little bit harder but I've used more of it as you can see so I sort of work it in the, in the jar a bit get it working it's fairly like hard at the moment but the more you manipulate it the more it like gets nice and spreadable Kind of like butter. Yeah, just working it as best I can to get into all of those lines. getting in the corner for some reason getting in this corner down the bottom is so hard for my hands it just doesn't want to work that way oh, it's nice and covered oops just scrape off as much as you can of the excess and put it back in the jar so as not to waste it I reckon I could use these as buffs as well, like with the PBO I buffed some with rub-ons and I reckon I could do that with this, these um, products. Stick on my heated tool. Time for the reveal. I do like this pattern. Quite a few smudges on this one, unfortunately. That was because it was quite stiff and I was really pushing it through. 
that there's still nice bits there that I can use. Bring up my heat resistant board. This really darkens up, doesn't it? Look, gets a lot darker as you dries. Do you like the effect? It's more like a warm navy than denim that it starts off as. Some of the bits are pulling up slightly. It does really darken it up, doesn't it? I like it though. Yeah, this does come up lovely. I'll just cut out the area that's been smudged. And then get down. Get down. So look, this bit creases up here, look, it pops up. Quite weird. Interesting but strange. That's the whole thing done. Quite pleased with these. They are a different effect when you dry them compared to when you leave them to dry naturally, but all works in different ways all worth having um i love nuvo <laughs> thanks for joining me guys much love breathe easy folks i'll see you again soon bye